Hi, this is Chris. Today we'll start a new series on how to use the Internet of Things in different sectors. And the first one will be the energy and utility sector. And I will show how a simple colored light can be used to communicate real-time prices of electricity to consumers in an efficient way. The energy and utility sector in most countries has transformed into an open market where prices can be adjusted per hour and where those prices are set depending on the current supply and demand in the smart grid. The system works for high volume consumers that can adjust their use over time. But a large part of the consumption is by household that are not aware of the current price. But what, what if there was a way to easily communicate prices to each household? Let's create a light that can be placed at home and that indicate the current price with the color. Red for a high price during peak hours and green when the prices are low. To do that, I have chosen to use a device called Electric In. I have the link there down in the description. And an accompanying breakout board called April. But you can use the same hardware that I showed in my video called Internet of Things Business Intelligent Flower. You also need an RGB LED. And to connect everything you need a breadboard, three resistors and four jumper cables. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the ground on the IMPS breakout to the second or longest pin on the LED. Then connect the IMPS pin 7 to the LED pin 4, which is the blue one, over a 10 ohm resistor. The IMPS pin 8 to the LED pin 3, which is the green one, over, also over a 10 ohm resistor. And the IMPS pin 9 to the LED pin 1, which is the red one, over a 68 ohm resistor. I won't go through the setup of the electric IMP, but there are great instructions on their website. This is the code for the server side called agent. And first I just log a message on how to use the agent on the first line. Then I define a function that will be called for each request on lines 3 to 17. And the event is hooked up on line 19. The function checks that there is a parameter named LED in the request on line 7 and if so sends an event also called LED to the device with the parameter value which is a color code on line 9. Depending on whether the call to the device works a corresponding HTTP code is returned so 200 for success on line 11 or 300 for an error on line 15. Okay, this is the device code and it looks like this. And first, uh, the variables for the pins are defined on lines 1 to 3, which are used to configure the pins for pulse width modulation at 400 Hz on lines 5 to 7. Then a function is defined on lines 9 to 14 that is called by the server agent, as we saw before. And the event for that is hooked up on line 16. In the function, the three color values are encoded into an integer value that is sent to each of the pins on lines 11 to 13, using a helper function on lines 18 to 28. When you have entered this code in the electric imp IDE and run it, you can change the color using the URL logged, as we saw in the server code. That is the URL that the energy supplier can request when the prices change. To get the nice effect, you should put a diffuser on the LED, like a ping pong ball. I have put the LED inside a cute glass puppy, and here is how it looks when the price is low. And this is how it looks when the price is high. Okay, so that's how you can use the Internet of Things in the energy and utility sector. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.